Hi guys, I'm here today with the new Wilson FG Forged Irons. Um, just let have a look at that. Isn't that cool? How nice is that? This is your modern blade. So what they've done with this, it's, it's very in keeping with the old school Wilson blade. I believe I'm right in saying that Wilson have got the most major wins of all time. Um, have a little look at that, back of that. So this is, this is a solid blade, this is lovely. Go. Look at that. You'll see it's quite traditional. So what they've done is Wilson have put little dots back on the face, which is very in keeping with the sort of seventies, eighties uh, blades. They've also got the little marks up in the fit, up in the hosel, and the ferrule is a little bit longer than normal. So it's very much a classic looking old blade, but it plays much more easier than your old school blade, if you like. Um, on the back of the club, they've got some really funky stuff. They've got the FG Tour marks, little lines on the back, nice and shiny, a little bit of graphics in there saying that it's forged. The Wilson logo, of course, is dominant in there, and it's fantastic. I mean, it's an absolutely brilliant club. I got these in 7 iron to wedge, and then they do, they can make a combo set. So they have another set of irons, which is this, which is the FG Tour V4, which again is forged head, but it's got a cavity back. So let's have a little look at this. So. There we go, a little bit more forgiving. This is my four iron. So I've got this in four, five, six, and then seven to wedge is my bladed FG Tour. Um, so a little tungsten weight in the sole to help get the ball up into the air. Um, they've not got the little dimples on the front of the face because it's not the full blade, so they've, that, that's, that's a classic sign with their full blade. It has got little marks around the ferrule, around the hosel, sorry, and the longer ferrule, which is very nice. On the back, you can see there's a bit of cavity in there, so we've dug a little bit out, yet there's still a bit of power behind the sweet spot, so it's a little bit harder to hit than your normal cavity, but more forgiving than the blade, which is great for my long irons. Um, I made sure to mention both clubs have got Wilson staff written down the back of the hosel, which is absolutely sweet. So it's a really good looking set of clubs. Um, both sets, brilliant. I find, I find them, I used to play blades, I used to have Mizuno blades a long, long time ago, and they were great, loved them, hit them at the middle, brilliant. If you missed the middle, you knew all about it, it was quite sore. These, both sets of irons, even the full blade, when we get to the 7 iron, I've never tried it in 6, 5 or 4, but 7 iron, it's it's so easy. I mean, if you miss it, you still get a good feel of it. So even though it looks quite daunting and you look down on it, I'll, I'll, I'll swing the camera around shortly, and we'll look down on it, and you'll see the head's quite small, and it's quite, quite scary looking, to be honest with you, but not as scary as your old blade, but yet it's still very forgiving. And it feels fantastic. I'm going to hit one here just, just to get a lot of feel for this. So I've got 8 iron out just now. I've got these, Wilson do them in all different sort of shafts. I've got a Dynamic Gold S300, which is what I've used all my career um, as an amateur as well. I just like a heavier shaft, I like to feel the weight of the club. They are quite a heavy club, um, to be honest. But I like that. I like that. It gives me, I feel as I can give them a little bit more energy, if you like, apply a little bit more force to the back of the ball. Um, lots of different grip options as well. I've just got standard Wilson staff grip in there, Lambkin, Crossline, um, Dynamic Gold S300. Let's have a little go. So it looks lovely when it sits behind the ball. It looks fantastic. Really tight. As I say, I'll swing the camera around and let you see that. Uh, those little lines up the f side of the face really seem to centre the ball so you can position it right in the middle of the face, which is lovely. Let's hit one. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it feels really, really good. I've underclubbed there. I don't even know how far we are. I just hit my 8 iron. But I got out of the middle. It felt great. It felt brilliant. Let's hit 7 iron, actually. So I've got 7 iron. This should reach the green. It should get a little bit better result. But I mean, that, that's... I like the shiny head as well. Before I had, I had a set of Cleveland CG1 Tours, which are very, very similar blade style, and they had the sort of matted finish. Um, going to this shiny finish looks lovely. Love it. There's lots of different custom options, which I'll explain in a minute. Oh, that must be there. Yeah, that's good. Excellent. So it feels really good, performs really, really well. My my setup before I do you know before I was two degrees upright and half an inch longer than standard. I've got just got these in standard lie, but I've got them an inch longer, so that little bit more length makes them play a little bit more upright. So now I've got a little bit of I'm sort of earning on both sides, if you like. I also, the inch longer is great for me because I like to choke down. So when I choke down in the club, I 
feel as though I'm playing a lot of punch shots. Grew up in North Berwick, so a lot of links stuff. Um, but yeah, I won't lose any distance because I've got the full length of the club. I'll just swing the camera around now and let you see what the club look, the clubs look like from the top. Okay, so this is the full blade. This is seven iron. You can see it looks quite small. It sits there nice and tight. It's lovely. You can turn it around in the sun, actually. That might help. There you go. So you can really get to see it there. It's lovely. It sits nice and tight. As I say, with the little um, dots on the face, you can really line it up perfectly. It's brilliant. You can certainly see if you're going towards the toe or towards the heel. So even though there's, I mean, they're a classic little move from Wilson, but it's an alignment aid as far as I'm concerned. Really nice. So that's that's the blade. And this is my four iron, which is the V4. Um, which has got a little bit of cavity in the back. You can see it's still quite a small looking head, sits quite tight. It's nice, it doesn't have little dimples in the front, down the side of the groove, so it's harder to line up for me, but, well not harder to line up, it's just that I don't have that advantage of using it as a, as a alignment aid. But great, great irons. If you can get your hands on them, give it a go. Guys, there we go, that's the Wilson FG Tour. Um, if you can get hands on them, give them a go. I'm at Peebles Pro Shop. I've got all the custom fitting stuff there to try all the Wilson range for 2016. Um, if you can get a shot of them, try it. Absolutely brilliant, great price point, and I'll certainly be playing them for a long time. Give them a go.